this August on Disney+. Plus. This month, our universe expands with Marvel Studios' I Am Groot. So get ready as Baby Groot takes center stage in its very own collection of five original shorts featuring several new and unusual characters. <laughs> and then go on vacation with Lego Star Wars Summer Vacation, in which Finn, looking for a much needed break from stormtroopers and TIE fighters, arranges a surprise vacation for his friends aboard the ultra luxurious galactic star cruise. Join us this month for these out of the world adventures. All these and more streaming this month only on Disney Plus. Hello friends, it's Mr. Jim and welcome back to Kids Animal Stories. We have made some amazing activities just for you. So after listening to these animal stories, click the link down below in the description for activities for kids. And that's where every episode can come to life, either at your house or in your classroom. And it's going to be super fun to do this together. Well, friends, are you ready to figure out who Dre is? Me too. Let's go. Wait a second. What in the world is going on? Oh, that's right. Dre, our mystery critter, is running across the road. And he's screaming as loud as he could. <laughs> Wait, do you guys remember why? Yes, because a, a long time ago he got lost and has lived his whole life in a forest full of creatures that don't look like him. He's a bird that can't fly and there's no other birds in the forest that look quite like Dre, and he really wants to find his home, which is where we continue our adventure. Even though Dre was not able to fly, he was very fast on his two little feet. He ran and ran, he even closed his eyes because it was so scary with all the cars racing by. Zoom, zoom. That was the sound of a ginormous truck that he somehow ran underneath. And then all of a sudden he tripped on a rock and rolled to a dusty stop. And he wondered if this was the end of it all. As he picked up his head and opened one eye, he realized that he had made it to the other side. Woohoo! He was so happy. He couldn't even believe it. How in the world did he just cross the road? As he brushed off the dust, he stood back up and was a little dizzy. Whoa, I think I need to get a drink of water or something. That was insane, said Dre. And lucky for him, down off on the other side of the road where he was standing, down the hill was a beautiful bubbling creek. <gasps> oh, that looks delicious. He started running down the hill and his feet were not able to keep up with how fast he wanted to go. And he rolled all the way down and splashed in the creek. Oh, that was painfully, but oh, that was perfect. Ah, It felt so good for him to take a nice cool bath in this creek of clean water. And he drank and drank and drank. And finally, he was able to stand back up. As he shook the water off of his feathers, he looked around and saw a beautiful grassy field. Wow, that looks amazing. You see, Dre had lived in a forest his entire life. He'd never seen that much grass before because there were so many trees in the forest, it didn't let the grass grow. And as he started running through the grassy field, it was just the best ever. He was so, so happy. Up ahead, he saw something, something he'd never seen before that was very large. It looked like it was made of wood, but it was bright red. He thought, I've never seen a red tree before. How did they get that bright red wood? I've got to check this out for myself. As he started walking towards that big wooden red structure, he was very curious about what he was going to find there. Hold on a second. Do you, can you picture what I'm talking about? What do you think is a big wooden red structure? Hmm, is it a, a train? 
No, I, I don't think he's looking at a train. Do you... Oh, a barn. Did you say a barn? Yes. He has found a beautifully big red barn. And it, he was pretty impressed by it. The closer he walked to this red barn, the more critters and animals that he saw that he'd never seen before. Hi, my name's Dre. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my, uh, I'll just keep walking. Never mind. Bye. It made Dre a little nervous of this big ginormous black and white animal that he had never seen before. He walked closer to the barn and up ahead. He couldn't believe it. His dream had come true. His mouth popped open. His eyes became ginormous and he was so happy. You look just like me, he shouted. Hi, hi, my name's Dre. What's your name? Hey, my name is Charlie. It's great to meet you and welcome to the team. Dre couldn't believe it. He'd always wanted to be on a team. He wasn't sure exactly what team this was. But if it was any team, it was a team for Dre. Hold on a second. Have you figured out what kind of animal that Dre is? All right, we got to look through the facts. There's so much I can't even remember it all. Remember uh, Dre? Okay, he's a bird. He can't fly. And he likes to wake up in the morning. Hmm. I, I just think of penguins. Penguins are birds that can't fly, right? Uh, but it said he's very colorful. That's, uh, nope. Not a penguin. What's another bird that can't fly? Uh, ostrich? It, wait a second. Is Dre an ostrich? Ostriches are fast, just like Dre, but I don't think they're very colorful. What is it? What is it? The only bird that I can think of left is like a chicken or a rooster and... Wait, is that it? Is Dre a rooster? Let's see. Roosters are birds that can't really fly that well. And they're... Oh, they wake up really early in the morning. And they're very colorful. <gasps> How funny. We just had a story about a chicken crossing the road. <laughs> well, that is exactly a great job. Dre is a rooster. And he's lived his whole life in the forest. And so he's very excited see other friends just like him and i'm pretty sure that he has an amazing adventure ahead of him now that he lives at this beautiful red barn well even though this is the end of the story we have an awesome activity just for you so make sure that you click down below at those activities and i will see you there bye Great job, you listened all the way to the end, and I'm so excited that we finally figured out who Dre is. So friends, right now I need to make sure that you have smashed the follow button so that you don't miss out on any of our stories. And then next, I need you to make sure that you've left either, a, a, you know, your review of how much you love this show, or if you're listening on Spotify, you can leave that five-star rating, which helps me out so much, and I just cannot wait for our next adventure. Are you guys ready for our next animal adventure? I know I am, and I hope you have a super duper day. <laughs> and I'll see you on our next story. Bye.